Gear Day 3. So um, today I'm going to be doing the shoe tag video. Um, if you guys know my channel or you know me at all, you know that I love shoes. Um, shoes are my favorite part of any outfit. And any of my friends, family, or you guys on YouTube know that if you guys want to get me something nice, I like shoes. And um, size 8, just kidding. <laughs> But, um, yeah, so I first saw this video a couple months ago on Blair, um, Juicy Star 07's channel, and I was like, wow, I need to do this video. Sadly, it's taken a few months to get to do it, but I'm doing it now, so I'm really happy. And there's 14 questions, I believe, or 15 questions, I'm not sure, but um, I have them on my computer. I'm going to go through them, and... Yeah, so let's just get started. The first question is heels or flats? Um, if you know me, you know that I'm always going to say heels, but I am veering more into flats lately. I think I have like four or five now um, that I've accumulated in 2011, so that's good. But heels, definitely. Um, even though I'm really tall, I love wearing them. What are your go-to shoes? Um, I would say that these black pair are my go-to shoes. I bought them from Fashion District either last summer or, yeah, I'm pretty sure, like summer of 2010, I bought them. And they're just this black faux suede with these stud detailings. Um, I go to them when I kind of don't know what to wear or, like, I have a really dressy outfit, but I don't want to wear, like, just plain black pumps. I would wear these. I think I bought them for like 30, 25 or $30, so that's um, my go-to pair of shoes. The next question is, what's your favorite shoe trend at the moment and why? Sorry, my dog is like chewing on the pillow that I'm laying on right now, and it's like making me really nervous. <laughs> um, cookie, stop. <laughs> Anyways, the, my favorite shoe trend at the moment are definitely booties. Um, I got these from Charlotte Rue, sorry, they're untied. Um, I think I paid $25 for them, which is a really good deal. Um, and yeah, definitely booties. I've never, ever, ever worn, had booties before, and so I really like ventured into them. I wanted to do like a more edgy type of thing, because um, my style is always more like classic and like, you know, really feminine, so I'm trying to get into like the edgier stuff. But yeah, my favorite shoe trend at the moment are definitely those. I think my least favorite shoe trend at the moment, um, I don't really know. I don't think I have like a least favorite shoe trend. I pretty much like all types of shoes. I don't, well, I don't know if it's a shoe trend, but like kitten heels, no. I don't like kitten heels at all. You either go flat or you go heels. Um, but I'm not sure if that's a shoe trend or anything. What's your most expensive shoe? Um, my most expensive shoe are my nude Christian Louboutins. They're a little beat up because I've worn them, and I added like a red insole. But um, as you as you probably know, the red sole is definitely in. And um, I chose the color nude because I wanted them to match with everything as my first pair. I would, these aren't my most comfortable pairs of shoes. I wish I would have gotten a shoe with a platform because um, I can't walk as long in these shoes as I would like any other pump that I have with a platform. So um, definitely when I buy purchase my next pair of Christian Louboutins, I would definitely go for one with a platform. My most wanted pair of shoe would probably be a YSL shoe at Yves Saint Laurent. I'm not really good at seeing it. I really like the shape of the shoe, or definitely like a, um, a Christian Louboutin shoe, one with like a really huge platform. I always forget what they're called. It's like lady something, but definitely one of those, preferably in black, um, just so it could be like classic and match with everything. Um, what is your most embarrassing shoe story? Um, I can't really think of like one specific shoe story, but definitely, um, like, any time I've ever fallen in heels anywhere, or, um, like, my heel has broken in public. Oh, any time your sandals snap in public. I don't know if that's ever happened to you, but I feel like 
it always happens to me where you're like flip flop or your sandal or something, it'll come off at that part between your toe and you're just like screwed for the whole day unless you have an extra pair of shoes. So um, if any of you guys drive, my advice is always to keep like a pair of shoes, like either flip flops or like a pair of pumps in your car or both, just because you never know what's going to happen to you. And um, if you have that backup pair, you're not screwed. And they should probably be like black or nude or something so they can match with everything. Um, pick a shoe and share a story. So the shoe that I picked are these sparkly um, pumps. My mom calls them the Beyonce shoe. I don't know. I guess when she purchased them, they reminded her of Beyonce. But they have like a gold heel and then they have like, um, like crystal details right here. And it's all like gold, metallic and silvery. And this shoe I've got, I think like when I was either a sophomore or a junior in high school. So that would be like 2007 or 2008. And um, that was before like the whole big like glitter shoe trend. And whenever I think of that shoe, I just think of like big events that happened to me like during my high school life. So like prom, winter formal, um, homecoming. I wore that shoe to all of those events. So it just reminds me. And it also reminds me of the beauty pageant that I participated in because I would always wear them. I call them my good luck shoes because um, I always seem to have good luck when I wear them. And yeah, I think they were only like $23 from Forever 21. So um, when people ask you like, oh, where do you get your shoes? I'm like, oh, I got them from Forever 21 a few years ago. They would never guess. They think that they were really expensive, like at least $100 pairs of shoes. So um, that's definitely one of a uh, shoe that has a big story to it. The next question is, when was the first time you wore heels? Um, I can't remember like the exact age or anything, but I can definitely remember being in like elementary school and stealing my mom's shoes all the time. And um, my mom's like kind of petite, kind of short because she's like Filipino. And since I'm half Irish, like I got, um, I'm a little taller than her and stuff. So um, when I was like in elementary school or like sixth or seventh grade, I was practically her height and I had had the same shoe size as her. So I would always wear her shoes. I'd wear them to church or I'd just wear them around the house for fun. But um, I'd probably say around fifth or sixth grade is when I wore, started wearing heels like consistently. And um, not like four inch heels or anything, probably like two or three inches, whatever my mom had basically. Um, how much do you spend on shoes? Individually, I don't spend a lot on shoes, but as a whole, I do spend a lot of shoes just because I buy so much. Um, usually, I'll spend about like $15 to $30 at most. Rarely will I spend more than like $40 or $50 or $60 on shoes. And um, just because like, you know, <laughs> shoes go on the floor. And if you buy like nice quality shoes, which you can find for cheap, um, they don't have to be like super, super expensive because you're going to be on the floor. You're going to be stepping on stuff and it gets really dirty. So that's kind of my philosophy. Um, so basically I spend a little bit on like pairs of shoes, but in general I spend a lot on shoes because I buy so much shoes. Um, what's your favorite, where are your favorite places to buy shoes? Um, over the past few years, it's kind of changed. I've always usually bought shoes at like Fashion District and downtown LA. Um, but now, like it's kind of a mi mix match. I have like some expensive shoes like the Christian Louboutins or like the Gucci shoes and stuff that I, like, that I share with my mom that we 50-50 when we purchase. And then I also have like, you know, the shoes that I got from AMI Clubwear, Charlotte Russe, basically anywhere where they have cute shoes and um, they're nice and I'm going to like them. I'm going to buy shoes from there. I'm not always like, oh, I'm a Steve Madden, um, I'm a Steve Madden person or things like that. Basically anywhere that has cute shoes, I will purchase from there. Um, do you have a pair of shoes that you regret purchasing? I don't have a specific pair that I like actually regret buying, but like as a category, any shoe that I purchased that was either like too small or um, like way too big or just like uncomfortable in general, um, just because I thought they were either super cute or like they were on sale. Um, those are shoes that I regret purchasing because they're sitting in my closet and they only get worn like once or like maybe ne even never, but usually just like once or twice. Whereas like other shoes that I buy, I wear frequently and I rotate them around a lot. 
where they get a lot of views, you get a lot of love. So um, just like any shoes that are uncomfortable, too small or too big, those are the shoes that I regret buying. And the last question are show your two favorite pairs, show your favorite pair of shoes. I'm going to cheat here because I have two. I guess I can divide it into category. It could be like my favorite boot of the moment. And then right now is my favorite shoe. I don't have an all-time, all-time favorite shoe. So I'm going to show you my favorite shoe of the moment. So my favorite boot of the moment are these um, chestnut, like tan colored boots. And they fold over so they can be like practically over the knee. But since I'm so tall, they're like just at my knee. And then they have like this back exposed zipper and a little wedge and I just love them so much. Um, if I, I, I wore them so many times in the month of December and November, probably like 60% of those days I wore these shoes. So I definitely love them. And then right now my favorite heel of the moment are these red shoes right here. They look like this. Want to guess how much I spent on these babe? Bad boys? Four dollars. Yeah. I said it. Four dollars. They're size eight. Um, I got them from Wet Seal from the sample sale that I went to in December. And I, when I went to the sample sale, I had to look for heels, but my aunt found them for me. And I'm really glad she did because I don't have like a shoe that is this color that's um, at this color at all. And I just love this shape. I love, 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 love peep toe shoes. And I think that they are so sexy and beautiful. And they are four dollars. But yeah, um, thank you guys for watching my video. If you guys want to reply to this tag or you just um, like it in general, um, please thumbs it up and make maybe a video response or you can just tell me down below. Um, you can answer the questions down below. So I will see you guys in the next video and toodaloo. Bye.